do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. Oh, like that! Welcome to Steph Reacts. We'll be reacting to another episode of Roast This. Welcome once again. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, that, hey, that's, hey, hey, this is our dope boy be looking for his dick when he's trying to raise his stomach up. He's down here somewhere. I gotta find my meat. Where is it? I don't know. I'm looking for Why it. Why do you have that, Billy? That's how you got that smile here. Don't be. Hey, I'm trying. Hey. <laughs> hey, this is how B. Lewis be trying to clean. <laughs> hey, this is how B. Lewis clean the gap between his teeth. I got a hole right here, and I'm going to clean it out. Hello, man. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello, in the hole. Hello, in there. Yeah, Billy coming through with all the heat right now. Jesus. You look like you look like Nick Cannon's arch nemesis in Drumline. <laughs> Hey, hey, here go dope boy looking for a punchline. Hello, I'm trying to find a punchline. Can someone help me find it? I got one for you. Hey, dope boy, I got one for you to help you find your goddamn dope. Here you go. <laughs> oh my god, fellas. I'm also Brandon, looking Brandon. forward to him or his neck if anyone has seen him. <laughs> Brandon, you look very non threatening, Brandon. You look very. I know, bro. You look yeah. like a drill sergeant, my nigga. Hey, here's the hey. thing, though. He got a fucked up thing. I realized how like goofy I look after I cut it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like too late. Like I can't. I, I you can't do like it. A, you can't undo it. You, you, you look like a deer in the face now. We, but look, you, but look, but look, 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 I look better with, with a hat and a naked face, but like not with a haircut and a naked face. But no, you got the Oh wave. my God, boy. You oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he auditioned it for Stranger Things season five. That's what that nigga's like. <laughs> I think the waves offset the facial hair. You got to bring the waves back out. Yeah, exactly. But it's like, without a Kill without the hat. Hair, Don't do the hat. Let me see it. You go, gonna take it out trying to find that line. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> take that hat off, nigga. Take it off. We are, we are looking for the line. Good luck. Give me this one, baby. You good, baby. You good, man. Yeah, he on. This nigga Billy on right now. I got to let you hear that one, man. You look like a cop in a garden. Throw him the waves. You got waves, bro. Do the do that. You should do the do rag. Then you'll look threatening. Boy, you look like when you just got to LA. That's you look like first week in LA. Like shit. You got to get some headshots. So he has you. You look like headshot B Lou right now. You look like headshot B Lou. Hey boy. Boy, you look like hey. Hey man, god damn it. You look like shit. Woo! Oh my goodness. This thing making all the cameos ever. You better you better hey, be look. on MTV. You better be on MTV next. I got five shows. Hey, look, I got five shows in Chicago this weekend. And I, I'm and I sure. Realize how, I realize how stupid I look when I'm the show. And you're gonna cook your ass at that hey, I gotta wear a hat. Hey, look, I gotta Don't wear do a hat. the hat. Don't do the hat. No, the hat offsets the naked face. No, no you're gonna look like a fucking pop off. No, I got the roof. Fuck, no. if, you, if you do the hat, you're going to look like a probation officer. Don't do the hat. Don't do the hat. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. Right now in the comment section, let me know hat or no hat. Does the hat? No hat, bro. I'll, I'll put a vote in there for Throw the whole hat. face away. Throw the whole face a, away. I'll be a chip my jaw having ass nigga. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey. Hey, hold on. Everybody in the comments, tell Brandon hat or no hat. We're going to go hat or no hat. Hat or no hat. <laughs> bro, oh, hat. Bro, you got yeah, waves. Man. You got waves for a reason. This man. day. I it's going to get you to the next three days. Hat. The waves, I got you on YouTube right now. I'm going to put a poll in the chat for them on YouTube and hat on Catherine. Hat, man. Hat. Yes. No. no. Let's make it real say, easy. You got to say beardless Brandon, hat or no hat. Beardless <laughs> Brandon. Beardless Lou. Here comes a poll right now Not on YouTube. Beardless. Caffeine headed your way right now. Beardless blue, what you? Hey, hey, Brandon, you look like a uh, like you just started working at the post office, like the dude. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, like the dude who get the girl shit. number at the club and call her right in the goddamn club, like bitch. You want to make sure I see you over there. <laughs> <laughs> you calling you in the bathroom? Hey, baby, it's me. I just got the number. Hey, check this out, though. Hey, check this out. What kind of car you drive? I'm about to hey, lay look, under it. Hey, look, check this out. I'm <laughs> 
hairline. So why? What is niggas on? Like, do you want? Like, I got a hairline, boy. Yo, do you have a widow's peak? Hold on, Milo. Is that a widow's peak? Do you have a widow's peak? Yeah, I, got a widow's peak. I have one. That ain't a widow's teeth. That's giving, the mortician's daddy. That's what that nigga it's, got. It's giving Ezell vibes. <laughs> Big Ezell vibes. You <laughs> got that Jose Sanchez right there. He got the, the, the goddamn. Hey, look. Hey, man. Uh, somebody got to take one for the team. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a hey, team don't, player. Don't, I'm hey, don't, can I just say, don't. Domari Hardwick is a very good name for you. You got a real Hardwick face today. You look like ghosts, like a fat ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so, you so, look so, like so, a nigga mid stroke. Be I'm a team player, bro. Be here because interesting. Uh, Ain't nobody asked you to do that for us. Stop lying. Nobody asked you to do that for us. Caffeine, that oh, nobody. Caffeine had no hat. YouTube had hat. Wow. So really? Actually, but yeah, exactly. One went yes on the hat. Uh, YouTube went yes on the hat. Caffeine went no on the hat. Interesting. Yeah. You can't trust uh, all the caffeine. I got a happy medium. Wave cap. Ain't nothing Boom. you do medium, medium, though, boy. Nothing you do medium. It's all beanie. large. Beanie. Take In other the, words, beanie. Take the hat off and put the I do got some beanies, though. I got beanies. Some beanies be low. Beanie might be your way out of this. If you win a wave cap. You're going to have Lewis on your beanie. You're going to have Lewis all the way across it. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, 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 shout out to my dog. I remember always thinking for, in the forward of, of, of what you call merchandise. Yeah. Yeah, beanie might, <laughs> might stay you on this. see what I'm doing, baby. I got my uh, designer bus bus driver gear on today. This look like get y'all ass in the back, him. Him. Is- <laughs> <laughs> him. Hey. So hey, check this out. Hey, go, um, hey, hey, check this out. This is a fun fact. I've been vegan now for one week. And I, I don't don't put myself being vegan, be little. I'm just talking that shit. It has nothing to do. Hey, in the kitchen. How is it? How is somebody it? say you look like a, you look like a Dominican baseball player? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how it look like his name is Brandon Ramirez. <laughs> how hey, is Brandon you? Ramirez and uh, uh, Fred Short Stop. They said you went vegan and now you ain't got no beard. <laughs> <laughs> how was it, bro? Was it, was it hard to do? You got, a, you got an impossible beard. Wow. This thing is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Boneless Bilu now. He got a meatless beard. He got a. <laughs> what was what was you eating for the last week? Like be loose right now. What did you eat for the last? What you eat? I've been eating a lot of Chipotle with some Fritas. You look like you've been eating a lot of ass for the past week with the goddamn face you got. <laughs> Yo, you can eat all of them. That nigga walk in the house, spread those cheeks. I'm going to eat. It's giving Tobu's operator. Hey, B. Lou, you can eat as many Oreo, Oreos as you want. They're vegan. Um, hey, look. He gonna, uh, that's you said, he hey, look, don't worry. Hey, don't worry. Hey, 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 talking hey, about how many Oreos. Hey, don't worry. You always say that. Hey, vegan. I want, hey, I want to be vegan. Hey, I want to be vegan, not fat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> saying, it's, a, it's a vegan friendly option if I you want to cook it. And it's also a fat option. Hey, it's shaking back and I help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Be, be looking. Let, let the people know on YouTube and Facebook. We're about to cut it. Right now, right now, teacher, right now, right now, coming from the beardless B. Lou. If you're watching this <laughs> stream right now, on the platform take him serious, man. Oh, hold on, guys. If you're, you're like watching the platform vegan. or anything He's besides the, the platform caffeine, we are now about to cut the stream. So if you are watching this, from anything besides caffeine, that's right, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, any other platform besides caffeine, we are now about to cut the stream. So that's right. Like you go, cut your beard off. Go to your app store right now, download caffeine, download the app caffeine, go to the uh, search engine, follow all depth, and then follow each and every individual on this platform right now. I'm Big Bang Lewis. That's Billy Sorrells. That's I Am Doughboy. And that is comedian Ronnie Jordan. But I think it's just Ronnie Jordan. No comedian. Follow us yeah, right Ronnie now, Caffeine. Run those numbers up so we can continue to give you great, amazing, funny content every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, not specific, but specifically be there every Tuesday for Roast This <laughs> Show. And also let them hey, know. Somebody say, hey. Roast me every other week as well. Let's go ahead because oh, you know, oh, hey, oh, oh, last you. but not least, we can't yeah. forget why you we can't forget why you really fuck with us. Right. Now, fuck yeah. with us because we give you great and amazing shows on Roast.
Back. And that's right. Every other Wednesday, yep. Roast Me will be airing live on Caffeine. And tomorrow is a new episode. So tune in go. tomorrow specifically at, what is it, 5 p.m., 8 p.m. Eastern? It's, 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 six, it's 6, 6 p.m. too. Okay, yeah, yeah. So 6 p.m., 9 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Tune in tomorrow, Wednesday, for Roast Me, brand new episode. Be Lou is going back in the classroom. I'm back hey, in that put motherfucker. Your, put your virtual Ooh. background on and then like put a beard on your face and post. I'm going back in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> in the oh. classroom. <laughs> that's, that's how you feel? <laughs> oh, shit. Hell no. Oh. That's Brandon right now. That's Brandon. <laughs> Uh, hey, Billy, where you get my haircut from, man? Hey, Billy, Billy. Like, Billy. Hey, this nigga didn't try to be me. This nigga, this nigga <laughs> didn't try to be me. Hey, be you. Hey, How do that. How much did you get today? A lot. <laughs> hey, Joe oh, boy. Joe what? boy. When you gonna let them puppies out your stomach? <laughs> this nigga. All right. You too, sorry. We out. <laughs> hey, Billy. Hey, Billy, you funny today, bro. He, he, he on one. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but I'm trying to figure out why you have a child's face. <laughs> <laughs> Not to <the> laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat some crayons? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. I really, I really. What's your I name, really. bro? Okay, I really. okay. I really, what I eat, Billy? Ass. <laughs> <laughs> And crayons. Oh yeah. my god. Yes. Oh, that's funny, man. <laughs> hey, Joe Boy. What, nigga? Joe Boy. So what? where where on the streets is you set off a bomb in the improv? Is no, I, no, I did not. I just didn't have the best set ever. Oh, too bad. Did you show them your titties? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> they would have laughed at those two birds. I hate you, nigga. What is that? No, no, you don't hate oh. me. You hate vegetables. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, are we ever going to get to the top and we don't let the ship run? Don't let it run. This is the funniest show has been all season. Exactly. And I can, you keep going. And I, and I, and I, hey. Is anybody crying and talking about their dead daddy? <laughs> I gotta admit, I gotta admit, you coming back into your, uh, you coming back into your, into your, into your flow, man. And I'm proud of you. I don't know who Billy is. Is somebody crying about their ex-wife? <laughs> Did somebody say D Lay? Nigga, bro, put the cocaine down, nigga. What? Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh I'm god. doing nothing. I but really? eating Oreos oh. and ass like B. Lewis. <laughs> Oreos and ass. Hey, B. Lewis. Uh, hey, Billy. Hey, Billy. Hey, Billy. Yes. Hey, hey. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, my hey, name is Tonyo, hey, by the hey, way. Billy, I don't hey, know who this Billy guy is. Hey, Billy. This is Tonyo for the second time. Are you deaf and have a Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, Billy. Hey, what kind of puppies? Hey, what kind of, hey, what kind of puppies is, is that boy from the house? Oh. Chow, chow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what kind of puppies you can tell by you can tell the type of puppies you're gonna have if you look at Doughboy's gums. <laughs> <laughs> He's got salamander lips. <laughs> Girl, say some shit about Rodney, man. Give this, give Rodney some shit. Oh, why Who? you spit you, bro? Yeah, get Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one question, Doughboy. Um. Uh, does somebody have their finger in your butt on that painting behind you? It looks like you're saying, ooh. All right, I, I think I'm time for a segue. I think it's time. Oh my God, really. What is happening? Speaking of finger and butt stuff, I think it's finally good for, for talking about my man. What's it, Kevo man? What's the man's name? Give me his name, go boy. Kevo Ben. Uh, ben Man Kevo. Ben, oh, ben Man Kevo. Kevo. He uh he absolutely uh uh got liposuction done and uh he, this, I just did y'all hear about this 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 man that, that play, got play, play the clip play the clip please. Oh, who is this? Ben Why Man. Why are we looking at this? this? 
Ben Why Man Kevo. <laughs> what happened was, Dario, he actually got light bulb suction. He got everything sucked out so he can have ass. That was that was the plan. That's he what got he everything did. Everything sucked. Uh, okay. Yeah. So y'all, like, this is how you're supposed to look after you working out. You got to be working out hard as hell, though. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like after the fact. You feel me? I just. So I had to take fat from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? The form. I, you know what I'm saying? My little back, my leg, everything. You feel me? Fat every anywhere. Like my everything was weird about my body. Like, cause I weighed two eighty four. You feel me? So face. this two twenty right here. You know what I mean? Like when my busting hard. You know what I'm saying? When my chest was hanging over. At a cell now, I'm decent. Like you know what I'm saying? Get it right. And you know what's crazy? What's so crazy is I, I was like, man. At first, I wasn't even with no like you know like. I'm like man, I ain't doing that. But then all my rich homies they like man, everybody do that. Just be low key. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, phone now. Let's get it. I'm tired of going to the gym a million times in my life. So, I mean, that's pretty Yo, much. This, this, I this got one thing. I got one thing to say. Doughboy, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> don't you do it. Shut up. Uh, nigga, you, so this is you. This is the no. Hold on, hold on, Bill. Hold on. Go, go, dog boy. Go ahead. No, no. The beginning of the end is for, if what he said <laughs> is true. This is the beginning of the end for, for, for rappers because he kind of alluded that other rappers be getting this shit. This is crazy, nigga. That's a BB, like getting a whole plastic surgery to get hey, y'all. Niggas is buying new hairlines. This shit crazy, bro. Like, niggas need to just be who they are. Like, surgery to get abs, that's psychotic. I mean, it's a rich, lot of though. people get that. That's old. A lot of people been getting that. Like, there's comedians that got that. You don't even know. You know them, but you ain't know they had it. That's okay. comedians that got it all. They got, a, got, a, got a whole foot of meat cut off their ass. So you know, people, if you got, if you can afford it, go to do the shit. What's the coupon code so I can go on up there and drop some? <laughs> it's not the coupon. Send me the coupon. Code. Oh, what's the promo code? God damn it! I'm going up there as soon as I get two more checks. I'm up. As soon as uh, caffeine send the money, I'm going. Hey, <laughs> look. I'm getting to my lead. <laughs> that's some rich shit, though. Boy. Really? Oh, that's that's, yeah, that's rich that's shit. That's, that's some rich nigga shit, shit though. That's it. Hey, you wild, think bro. you think some people ain't been doing that, man? This this is they just yeah, not showing it. That's a rapper we're not even familiar with. Just think about how these rappers be popping out with abs. Like Kanye West be fat every other week. True. <laughs> like, think about it. He, he said that one day he didn't be fat. Hey, check this out. A lot of people ain't gonna say, "Hey, man," but uh, hey, I think the Rock on steroids. <laughs> clearly, 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 you think you yeah. think they make, they got some? Uh, it's they not illegal. Oh, they make it's some not illegal. It's, it's not illegal because he's not like competing. He's not competing. Right. Yeah, he's not competing right. at anything, so it's fine. You know, you can do that well, to yourself. His, his, his steroids is his steroids is plant based, so he good. It's legal. Yeah. He's not competing at anything, so it's. I mean, it's it's legal to do it. You know, hey, right. no boy, he in there, he actually shoot up, he shoot up Oreos for real. <laughs> <laughs> Oreos down, y'all don't even know that shit. You put Oreos straight to your vein, and straight to your oh, steroids. Oh, where's my thing? Hold on, hold on, fella. Let me get another topic. Kind of Hey, Billy, what kind of vibe y'all got in that motherfucker with the blue light? What the fuck y'all on in there? He getting his toes painted, nigga. That's the vibe. <laughs> Off hey, camera, you got his, his, uh, off camera. You got top, cotton between your toes. Oh really? It's, is that what I, is that what happened? Huh, no boy. What else you got? <laughs> hey, hey Billy. Hey Billy. Hey Billy. Hey, Billy. No, don't ask him about the puppies. <laughs> it's giving vampire producer. Hey Billy. Hey Billy. What kind? Hey, what kind? Of, what kind of puppies he going have, Billy? Chow chow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no boy. Hey, Doughboy. Hey, hey, Doughboy's got a Purina shake over there. In his head. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a hamburger made with Beyond Purina. Hey, check this out, though. Hey, hey look. Hey, check this out. Switch oh, topic. Hey, look. Switch topic. I got you. Hey, no, 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 no. We're going to go on the same topic, but okay. old boy was 284. 285. And then yeah. he went to 220. Mm -hmm. No, so he lost weight naturally working out and shit, but he said that his body looked sloppy after he did it. So, you know, he had to like do whatever they did to cut to it out. Reconstruct it. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't that the surgery took him from 285 to 225 with abs. He went from 285 to 225 and then he had to make the abs. Got it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said he had extra little bit. He got a little extra juice hey, so up So he now. getting that shit sucked out his, out his booty and all that other shit? That shit yeah, yeah. Oh, remember, oh, remember oh. I said the thing in the ass. I'm just segue for that. I told you, bro. I was trying to figure oh, out some segue. Yeah. Yeah. Funk Master Flex did that oh, shit yeah, on his Instagram. Funk Master Flex did that Yeah, that's, that's probably how he got it for free. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. It's a, it's a comedian hey, look, that put it on his Instagram, too. You. Just telling y'all. There's a few comedians that got it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you off. Hey, look, I ain't gonna hold you. Hey, working out is hard, but like it's very hard. It's really just, hey, it is. <laughs> I, just, I just started back yesterday. I did not start back, but I know it's hard. I started a seventy-five day fast yesterday. I'm, I'm on day two of a seventy-five day fast. Hey, you on day two of what? Oh, I, oh. a seventy-five day fast. A fast of what? What you fasting from? Processed, Everything. Processed sugar, fried food, and fast food. Hey, hey, Dobo, I That's got one right. question. One question for Nigga, you, Dobo. I got a, uh, I got a sandwich. So, 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 uh, I, got, I, got I just want to know, uh, what? while you're on the fast, what are the puppies going to eat? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. Ooh, doggy sitting. Listen, man, I've let, let myself go. I've let myself go. I got to get back to where I was. So I'm back how at this. You, how much you wait? How much you wait right now, though? 338. 338? Yes, I was on the scale yesterday. What's the body body goals? Nigga. Nigga, I got I got size 38 that I was wearing in 2020. I can't pull them all the way up, nigga. Hey, what was the low what's what was the lowest you've been on your fat journey? 250. Damn, you got that in two years. You just out of control. Over two years, you get it down. Two years. You get out of 250? Yes, nigga. I had salmon colored jeans. I had salmon colored Levi's, and they were size 38. I got to get back to those days. Ooh. But you, so, but you, your skin is salmon colored, so you look naked from the waist down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on this shit. I'm going to do it, man. I'm, I'm telling y'all, by the end of the year, I'll be 225. On hey, everything. Chill, chill, chill. You, uh, of chill, course chill, you chill, will, chill. my boy, as soon as you have those litter of puppies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, chill, chill. Hey, you you going to bring him to the classroom, Billy? You going to bring him to the classroom? Hey, Ronnie, Ronnie, What's remember up? this? He's a NWP. A NWP. <laughs> a nigga <laughs> with puppies. <laughs> Yeah. He remixed the old thank you, man. That was a good that was fun. That's He's good. The the NWP. That's clever. Uh, NWP. The update on the a class. Thank you. With puppy. That's good. Oh my god. That's Child. so funny. That's clever. All right, man. Hey, Billy, hey, Billy, what time is it? Billy, what time is it? Billy? It's time to see It's it up. It's it up. It's it up. All right, All right y'all. y'all. iOS 16. The unsend edit. Feature is now it's being the fuck nigga edition. Yeah. It's the fuck nigga edition of iMessage. <laughs> the iMessage now you can actually edit what you sent or unsend a message completely now. Oh, wow. I'm, about yeah. fu- I'm about to have a fuck. I'm about to have a field day. With- I wish I was still married when this was out. <laughs> I wish my marriage was still it's, going on. It's about to, to go. It's about to, yeah. It's about to be real ugly out here. I'm just saying the unsend message. Wait, 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 but he got a thing though. He got yeah. a thing though. The fuck up thing is that with this uh with, with this information. Mm-hmm. You still can slip, get fucked up because a motherfucker can screenshot uh, yep. what, what you originally said, and then yep. with this being, with this information being leaked, now a nigga know that you edited it or unsent it. I mean, that, you know, well, you know, I mean, can, I, can I say always, something? Go ahead, go ahead. Can I can I say something? Can I say something? This this might be all committees when you get your agreements through text, screenshot everything now because the janky promoters. I don't got I done caught a lot of people trying to say the price was different. And I just scr- I just scroll back and be like, nah, this is what we this got what we agreed on. Got a, a paper so on make, everything make sure now. Screenshot sure. and, and keep and keep records on everything because yeah, people gonna be slicker than ever now. They give them give them tools to be Damn. slick on us, man. Yep. Yeah, you know now if you get caught with your shit in your phone, you just lazy as fuck. You know? Yeah. I'm about to have so many Bible study conversations in my goddamn phone now. I'm about to have so many talks with God about the spiritual journey. Like, you don't know what's what no more. I'm not going through your phone no more to read some edited shit, trying to interpret the message. Right. Like, ain't no way y'all talked about uh stranger things to so no goddamn four fucking paragraphs. Of I mean, shit, 
What would be the reason that the phone company even decided that that should be a, a technology that should this be a, introduced? It's a nigga company. over the board. It's yes. a nigga it's, over there that says, it's, it's get that no, shit out of there. This is Apple. <laughs> this is Apple. It's only, it's only an Apple thing. You know what I mean? Like, Apple it's, wanted this. It's a dude to Apple like, bro, I need to fix something right quick for y'all, right? boy. Yep. I got you y'all. Get get out. Out. Hey. hey, but this shit follow, bro. Like, you can unsend it. You can go crazy now. You know how much shit niggas finna do, how much dick pics finna be sent and unsent right afterwards, like... We news, hey, Kadeem, when is the update? Is it already in? Uh, I, I'm guessing next week. Let me go ahead and confirm that for me. Hold on. I was oh, 16. Man. I was 16. Hey, you can literally what mark you? when you can start. Hey, oh. hey, Brandon, nowhere in history you can mark when you can start cheating <laughs> this week. The beta, <laughs> the beta is out now. Uh, iOS 16 release is September 2022. So you got a few more months to, to get your thing ducks in a row. So they saved this for the they summer. They saved this for the summer. Hey, you know how many niggas gonna get that girl they fall ass code now? Yep. Because once the Ed, man, go on through there, bitch. Look, I the last, I, but look, check this out, though. Hey, this is the last feature that the, the last feature that they need to add, and this will complete the game, is a, is the shit that Snapchat do? Snapchat lets you know when somebody screenshotted your shit. Yep. So yes, that's, that's the last feature. Once they add that shit in, then the game is then the game is good. Cause now, nah, 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 they need to make it where you can't screenshot it. Cause once they screenshot it, they got your ass. So no, I mean, it doesn't no. matter if you know. It doesn't matter no, if you know. But, but Snapchat, it don't matter if you know. They need to make it where you can't screenshot. It. Yo, I got I got the feature for you. This should be the feature. If somebody tries to screenshot any of your text shit, it blurs it out. Oh, that's fire. Ooh. That might be Ooh. fire. You know what I'm saying? So oh, they just can't do it. You see, oh, but you never try to screenshot it, you can't. Ooh, they can do that. Kind of fire. And I, and I, I, now, what if they use that. another phone? Because that's what the girls do now is. They don't <laughs> screenshot. They, 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 they ain't no stopping that. They take their phone and hit shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And air their shit out. Yeah. Ain't no stopping that one, Billy. Ain't no stopping that one. When that happens, it's over. Hey, but that's Hey, look, hey. Hey, look, that right there, that's fight. If, yeah. that, yeah, if they're going through that, if they're going to measures at that point, it's over with, huh? Yeah, 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 that's pretty much done at that point. Well, speaking of, speaking of more tech and everything else like that, I'll go ahead and we'll switch to another topic real quick and jump over here to the idea that Elon Musk and the Twitter thing might not work out after all. Oh, yeah. he he said, might, hey, I don't, don't think he wanted to buy it in the first place. I think he was trolling everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't think he ever really wanted. Why would he buy Twitter? What would it do for him? I mean, what happened was, and what's going on right now, he's not getting enough factual data on like how many spam accounts exist, and apparently a lot of stock or shareholders are not giving him the actual information on stuff, the accurate information. So he's might, might back out of the deal completely. He I, might I not feel buy. Him though. I yeah. feel him though, because even though, even though I, uh, even though within my. Uh, Within my field of entertainment, like you know, this is a still, a, I guess this is still a viable uh platform. But I was like, is niggas still on Twitter? Like I was still shocked. Everybody's everybody still on Twitter, but how do they make money off of it? I don't know how they monetize it. So I, I I'll leave it at this. I know the bigger corporations. Like I just I just retweeted a uh, NBA tweet the other day, and it showed me a, a little Michelob ad before you watch the actual video. So there oh, is cool. some type of monetization there. I don't, of course, not every page has it. I'm sure it's not as big as other platforms, but it does have some type of monetization. I, I think, I think what it is was he was trying to get get it so he could really see if these numbers are fluffed up because it like Twitter, all the all the uh, social medias, they can fake whatever numbers they want to on anybody they want to. They can make oh, yeah. any artist hot whenever they feel like it. Absolutely, so he's trying to see what's real and what ain't real so he can evaluate the company for itself. And if it's all cap, if they tell him, they got he gonna tell everybody. I think so. Yeah, that's definitely looking like though. Because look, check this out. Yeah, I'll be looking at it. Don't make them no money telling you it don't don't make them no money telling you their business. Right. right. Facts. But I'll be looking at niggas' accounts. Like I'll be looking at the rocks and like niggas accounts who got like 125 million and who got like crazy numbers. But like nigga, when I be seeing their post, they'll have a post and then they only have like 300 comments. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck going on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That shit yeah, supposed to be at 125 pages, million man. followers. Nigga, that video's supposed to have at least, look, at least 100,000. 
Yeah. If you did one percent, it's gonna be like uh, like some crazy. Bro, they thing. got you know they got streaming. You know they got streaming farms that sit a room full of iPhones that do whatever one phone tell them to. Yep. And, and you could buy that for your client to make them a hunt, make them eighty million oh, yeah. followers or something like that. Oh, so yeah. crazy, if, bro. You know, remember they do they did it. Instagram does it every five years. They always strip away the fake accounts, and you'll see people's go from four hundred to eighty nine thousand and shit like that. I, don't, I did hey, it like twice. If you, go, if you go to them niggas accounts who got like them crazy numbers. Bro, I I think that each comment session should have at least a hundred thousand comments. When you have over fifty million followers. If I have over fifty million people yeah. in one room, if in one broke. room, a hundred thousand should say something. Yep. Yep. But see, that's the thing, though. That's why you see like a lot of these like influencers and shit. They'll have millions of fucking followers and they'll try to sell some shit to my and like motherfuckers don't buy oh, that shit yep. they'll just get the free shit from them but they don't really they, they don't know how to activate any of their audience to actually spend money that's why people with much smaller fan bases can activate a much larger part of their audience because it's an actual real thing yeah also, like and also it's not it's not good for business for them to for you to know how many people you can really reach so that now that's why all the algorithms fucked up it's like why would we let Billy know he can reach 100 million people or 10 million people? Because it, I can't hold Billy back from his money. Like, if you can reach the people that, that yeah, crazy, that's, they, they money fucked up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's why, fan base, uh, that's why fan base is out. Shout out to uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Isaac Hayes III. Isaac Hayes III. Shout out to fan base is a black too, on yeah. app yeah, and, you know, producer. And what, what he's done over there at fan base is basically try to let people know how much of their fan, their actual fan base and following they're not able to connect to because each one of those uh, platforms has something to slow down how you interact with your actual followers. The Rock with 125 million followers, he can't see but a third of a third of a third because they know they probably want him to pay more premium to access getting in front of all those people. They just did an update where they changed how you can do your timeline. You can go on your timeline me. now on yeah. Instagram, which is like two weeks ago, and change it to my favorite accounts or my following chronological accounts. order. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah, chronological order, the reason why they stopped that was because people were spamming and posting so frequently, you couldn't get to people who were po posting on their natural schedule. Like, uh, if I post six times and there's only 20 windows you're going to see in a scroll session that they figure out, well, I'm taking three of them unfairly because I'm spamming. So what they'll do is is hide accounts that spam to give you higher engagement posts of your friends. Like, well, Ryan looked at this, B. Lou looked at this, and Doughboy looked at this. So, Billy, this is what you need to see. And so that's, like, I have to look at my feed. I got, like, three other pages that I view Instagram from because I don't want to see some of the shit I be seeing on my page all the time. Yeah, I guess you. Yeah, 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 the, the world and the algorithms are changing. I'll leave it at this. My, I, I didn't even know this. My, my brother put me on game for this. We know we're talking about The Rock right now. Did y'all know The Rock, any movie that he's in now, if there's a movie trailer, he puts it on his, he, literally his contract lets you put it on his YouTube page so he can monetize off of it. You know how insane that is? He's that nigga. He's that's been dope. that nigga that's for like that's 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 dope. years. That is incredible to me. Like, the idea that he, he, he walks to the damn booth and like, yeah, the trailer of this movie that I'm in has to go on my page and I can monetize that. Like That's that smart. is that insane. He, and he doing it for what they did his dad back in the day. Exactly my point. His whole shit is fuck y'all. Y'all shit it on my pops. And I'm about to I'm about to ride it right for the rest of it. That's it. That's crazy to me. Shout out to Nate Jackson. You know what? I want to oh, go ahead. Shout out Nate Jackson for being on that uh yeah, rock yeah. show man. He played Coco Beware. Yes. I mean Junkie our dog. That's what we play. Shout out to yeah, yeah junkyard. That show good as hell. So season two, right now, that's good, yeah. bro. I wanted to throw y'all quick curveball. If I can, real quick, I want to get y'all opinion on something. Since we we're talking about the social media stuff two seconds ago, and Kadeem, you can fact check me if you need to. That's fine. Did y'all hear? About you this? Always gonna fact check your fat ass. <laughs> Did y'all hear about this shit? This is this was fascinating to me. Did y'all hear about this shit with the YSL case? Right. Yeah. A kid, there was an eighteen-year-old. He just got charged with twenty-eight felonies. I for, threatening people, for threatening people involved with the case, right? Like the, the sheriff, whatever yep. else. And he's like, let him out of jail or I'm going to do something to you. But listen, guess how he threatened them? In the comment section on an Instagram post. I did, I did hear about this. Felonies. They got 28 felonies. I did for hear comments about this. on a post. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's all about that. You know you can get charged for threats for posting on somebody shit. I did hear. I, I did hear about this recently. I was like, that is that's crazy. Let me check. What's crazy is dumb inmates gonna fuck him too. Some wise still as soon as he get hit to, to the goddamn well, jail. Eighteen, 18 year old. <laughs> oh, you talking? You talking about the dude? Yeah, I, I know the sheriff. That's sheriff the bat. I know him. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it up on the screen right now so we can just kind of take a look at it. Hey, wait, hey, hey. So they, want, they, they didn't want thug, so they didn't want thug and uh, what's McCall in the same jail? They don't want. Um, they don't want to run each other right now. Uh, yeah, that's all, nah, bro. This this is unfortunately the, the situation that's going on right now. An 18 year old because they put thug because yeah. thug in Cobb County. He in Cobb County. Yeah. Look at this shit, bro. So this is just a kid being in the comments sections. Yeah, talking some shit. I get it, some serious shit, but 28 felonies, nigga, for throwing right it in the comment section? Yep. That's gotta, crazy, bro. You got to take it. Hey, this Atlanta, though, boy, you got to take this shit serious. Cause but, yeah. my, but, but, bro, this, this is not that my mind up. I didn't know that. Motherfuckers say some of the craziest shit in these comment sections. Now you can catch a case, nigga? Oh, yeah. No, that's been happening. That, I mean, it, I didn't it, know that. I didn't yeah. know that. No, no, like that. That's, have you ever seen when people get arrested for... for Almost about to go set up a crime or go set up a shooting or yeah, something like that. that, that yeah. I get that, bro. But somebody typing something on, like, as a comment on something. Yeah. On oh, face? Oh, absolutely. I did not know that absolutely. was a thing. That shit blew my mind, bro. And, and, in front of the chat, it is, it is very selective. It is a very selective thing. And speaking of which, what happened with, of course, what happened with in Buffalo, which is terrible. Uh, another right. subway, I guess. Uh, we'll talk about Dave Chappelle. Oh, hold on. There we go. I got you. I got you. you. You back there, Ron? Yeah, I'm up here. Yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and get you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. There you go. Boom. All right. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, but the situation with uh Dave Chappelle, he I think he did a comedy show and all his all the tickets are gonna go to the the Buffalo uh to, to help all those little families who were who were uh, affected by that situation in Buffalo. So shout out to Dave Chappelle. You know what I mean? Right. He obviously is doing what he can to kind of keep and that, of course, that was a very, very sad situation. Did you, did you see the artist that was decorating all the caskets for free with like the kids? I did. Uh, I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that shit man. was so sad. I had it's my, sad the though. Day that shit happened, the day that shit happened, I, had, I was taking my kids to the dentist, and I was so happy I was with them. And I was like, "What in the fuck is going yeah. on with this world, bro?" Yeah, man. And like, I, we had Riz Islam on our show, and he said he made some comments. He made some comments on Facebook, and the feds showed up at his door, and I'm like, "They be knowing these dudes write all these manifestos." And shit. What? Yeah, huh? yeah. They yeah. Showed up at the door? Oh boy, they don't yeah. play that anymore, bro. They they let me ask. <laughs> he said it's, it's, he no, but I, can, I can tell you how this works. Yeah, I can tell you how this stuff works. Obviously, it's you literally set up a computer and and literally have it search all day, all night about words, keywords, keyframes, whatever the case is, all day. And then if someone hits to gets that many hits in a in a selective month or week, you go holler at them. You you check up on them. Yeah, it works that easy. It's literally that easy nowadays. But what, it, that's what I'm so, 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 so they media. should they yeah they should that's be able fine. to see these school shooters a little bit before that. That shit. They, and also everybody keeps pivoting off the gun argument, like how easy it is to get a goddamn assault rifle. And right. those lawmakers come on there and do some. They always do some other kind of pivot switch. Yeah. To so we can try to stop talking about the gun, and then the NRA always go no. down on like. What's up? What's it? I got a question too. After you, after you, go ahead. Hey, look, I thought I thought that uh, all schools had uh, police officers. Not that really. Some of, them have, some of them have like one guy for about four or five hundred kids. Yeah, like one not or two people. really. When I was right, and that, yeah. always police, and we always had a shit up the police. The, the police was there. They was holding parents back while the kid was in there still shooting. I heard there was one lady when it got her funny. kids. They was arresting parents for trying to run into school. Right, like, right, that, yeah. like what you supposed to do then? Like, you, you, man, come on, dog. You know, they found out that the Parkland, uh, at Parkland High School where they had that shooting at in Florida, the school police officer, that nigga was stealing out the backpacks, out the students' backpacks, taking their money and shit, and they start opening up, and that nigga sit his punk ass in the goddamn room and they come out. What? They found that out. They went and looked at all the cameras. They were trying to figure out where was the nigga at when he walked in the room. That nigga had been getting. Backpacks talking about he was looking for dope and shit, taking the kid lunch money out their room and AirPods and iPods and shit. And the nigga came in and started pop, 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 started shooting. The nigga like, well, I'm out. Well, yeah, I mean, it, that's, that's what the switch topics. I think it's probably time. <coughs> real. Yeah, it's because it's going to get real. Can I just say the rest, can I say the rest of the piece of trouble, man? Of course. 
Trouble yeah, Trouble 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 Hey man, they they fight you. You heard that shit that they that the nigga ran in the house because he was over a chick house, was over there laid up and shit chilling. The nigga came in. It was her ex boyfriend. He had broke up with her a week ago. He had punched the girl in the face and jumped out the whip. Right. A week later, trouble over there at the crib hanging out with the girl. The nigga break in the door, see trouble in the bed with the chick, start spilling off on the girl in her sleep. Right. Trouble get up and start squabbling with the nigga. He. He pulled out a pistol and shot trouble, bro, and ran out of here. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I just heard that. I just heard that. I just heard that. That's uh, how they got the arrest warrant. Yeah, I, I just heard that out of the store. Uh, that's fucked up, though, right there. I mean, here's the thing, though. Hey, rest in peace of trouble, man. But I remember OG, this earthquake, too. Earthquake taught me this, too, man. He said, You never do a way. You always do. Home games or neutral sites. You never do away games. And what that means is that you never go over a girl house. You always have her either at your house, and if you don't trust her there, you have her at a hotel, which is a neutral site. So you yeah. always do home games and neutral sites. And then, and then uh, I, uh, one of these bloggers made a, a valid point. He was like, for uh, trouble, or you know what I'm saying, for trouble not to have his pistol on him. That means he been over there multiple times to be comfortable. You feel me? Yeah. Because you know, yeah. you know, we, we from Atlanta, and you know, but nigga, if I especially, especially some apartments, if I'm finna go to a he parked a Lamborghini, he parked a yellow Lamborghini apparently. Yeah. No, it's a Corvette. He got a Corvette. It's a yellow, oh, yellow. but no, yellow. it's still a Spencer. Okay. But Either still, way, that yeah. type of car, I, 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 I got my pistol yeah. on me, man. But you yeah. know, I, I guess the nigga might have got. Also, the, boy, I, you know, you know, he was in Congress too. You know, the Rockdale police don't play either, so. Yeah, it's, it's, you get it's, caught, it's, you get caught with a blam, nigga. They niggas ain't playing. Hey, nothing less though. Hey, nothing less. That shit fucked up. Uh, yeah. It's fucked up because it's like, damn, a nigga really caught you with your pants down. You feel me? Like a nigga yeah. really caught you lacking. Like you, you basically, he basically, excuse me, he basically just, he basically just over there fucking. He basically just over there fucking shouting, fell asleep. You feel me? Just to get up on the next day type shit, but. You feel me? You get caught and, fucking and with lost his life because of it. And bro. lost your life, dog. That's the same. You lost, your, you lost your life at a bitch house that you don't need care for. You feel me? Like you, you lost yeah, your, you lost your life at a bitch house. You just fucking. Sad. That, that's weak. Now that's weak. Like you feel me? Cause I know, I know that nigga probably got a, a player ass crib, and it's like, damn, I lost my life over there, ratchet ass bitch house, fucking it, bitch. Sucks, bro. I mean, I mean, there's another situation that I mean, not close, but uh, y'all want to talk about this one? Do y'all know about what's going on here again with these two? No. What's going on now? No, God. Uh, apparently, Rob Kardashian, they got the whole revenge porn situation between these two. There's a case. Uh, they're trying to not go to trial. Yeah, apparently, apparently, Rob Kardashian's caught up on a revenge porn situation with Black China, which I had no idea. I didn't even know that was a thing. But apparently, that's happening. Uh, they're trying to get it out of, not go to, uh, they're trying to strike a deal. Rock, Rock wants to strike a deal. He thought he had one in place. China, Black China's now backed out of that deal. And now Rob is trying to force the judge to pretty much make her go through with this deal instead. I, I, it's it's a very, very ugly situation between these two. Yeah, the Kardashians stay in court. So I'm not saying that they're bad or true business people, but I'm just, I see the Kardashians in, in court. A lot, like this it's, wasn't just in court a second ago about some shit like this with her and another yeah. another suit, like yeah. or maybe it's her, or maybe it's Black Time, maybe I don't know. I just feel like I hear about the Kardashians mm. in court a lot, a lot. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, let me go ahead and check here. There is, let me try to. Apparently, uh, to, apparently he at Rob Kardashian has another lawsuit with someone named Pilot Jones. Uh, apparently her ex. So apparently Pilot Jones, Black China's ex, are trying to sue Rob Kardashian for the whole... So it's just, they, they pretty much both try to sue Rob, me and Rob at the same time. And try to get money oh. off of them. Try to get money oh, off of them. It's them. Okay. Yeah, it's just them. Trying to get money oh. off of them. He's trying to strike a deal with them, and then now they're backing out. It's I'm not shocked at this point. Not shocking at all. They, they're, trying to, they're trying to get him for more money. Is, is what it feels like to me. But it is what it is, man. Like, you know, just... Uh, the whole revenge porn thing is a whole other situation. Hey, shout, hey, hey, shout out to that nigga. Uh, what's that nigga name? Andrew. Uh, I know it's Andrew Chan Kyle. What a nigga be like. I like women's, 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 women's. And that nigga funny. <laughs> that nigga, hey, that nigga funny. That nigga said, hey, he said, hey, he said, all that crying we did at your graduation for you to do DoorDash. Nigga, that nigga <laughs> funny. Yeah, 
That's funny as hell. All right, Ronnie back. Boom. All right. So I think we can finish off with this one thing. Y'all know Money Bag Yo was actually making a movie. You guys did y'all hear about this? Oh, y'all heard about that. They was on his ass. A motherfucker said it's going to be on Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I mean, it was more, I saw him uh, put the script out on online. And everyone was pretty much wrote him about how much script he did show. I'm like, bro, you showed off the whole movie. Oh, let me go. Why, would anybody, go, why would anybody go see the movie if I could just go read the script? Yeah, like, look oh, at this. Like, click. Click. <laughs> Give it away plot points. <laughs> <laughs> like, how long is this video? Right, showing off the whole scene. It was, it was just funny to see that. And of course, he's asking uh, Fifty Cent for help for the movie and everything else like that. Man, it's just small little stuff. Like yeah, that whole script needed a rewrite, probably. <laughs> Shout out to the whole team. Yeah, yeah. They, they taking over the rap game, man. They make a lot of big moves, man. They just signed a rapper from uh, Sacramento, my city. Uh, Mozzie, so you know what I'm saying, CMG. Uh, Mozzie, dope. I like Mozzie. I didn't hear about Mozzie, actually. Yeah, I haven't heard about Mozzie. Yeah, they did. They, they got Mozzie over there. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious though about this, this script the money bag wrote. Yeah. Like, I want to know how many times the words "fuck nigga" and uh, "goddamn me" is in this goddamn script. Like, how many times do he say, "Man, fuck that nigga, gonna feed me industry, that nigga." Goddamn me, hey, on oh, oh, the real, hey. <laughs> Fuck ass nigga go understand what the hell the goddamn me probably me. You know what I'm saying? Quit lying. I saw that at least five times. Uh tell, I tell maybe, like maybe he's excited about he's just excited about him finishing something. You know how that every, is comedian, every comedian is supposed to be doing a spec script right now. And then you be right. like, man, all that shit start happening. You don't never get to the damn spec script. So I think him uh being a rap, you know, he come from Memphis, so three six mafia been putting out independent movies. Right. So he like, I'm That's on true. that same path, you know. True. I think that that's super dope because I think we're starting to see like a renaissance in hip hop where rappers where they're starting to do so much more oh, than rap. Like even when you see a nigga like Rick Ross like having multiple wing stops and like you know what I'm saying, um checkers. Knew it was food and, coming. I knew it was food coming in. Yeah, yeah or Wendy, Wendy, <laughs> got so many Wendy. wing stops, my nigga. You out here wings stopping it up. But what Fifty's doing on TV, like these niggas are like really changing shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? They be having liquor brands. Like, I just think that's super fucking dope. So any any rapper doing something other than rap, I think that's super dope. That is that is dope. That is dope, man. It's 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 you know. Well, you, you don't have you don't have to be boxed simple, in. You don't have to be boxed in anymore. Right. And and also, Kadeem is simple man. If you spend a hundred thousand on the watch, you could do a whole movie for a hundred thousand dollars. You can, you can, you can and do a movie for You can do a movie for twenty five thousand. You can do a movie for fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah, of course. All the camera equipment is you know available now, pretty accessible to a lot yeah, of people. You can buy the equipment one time and you have it. Yep, yep. Niggas be wondering why I wear fake jewelry. That's the reason. Nigga is smart. Absolutely. Why? 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 They was wondering. They was wondering if it was real. It was <laughs> I don't see that. I don't see the point of buying real jewelry if I can get the fake shit that looks just like it. Like, I mean, but you don't get the fake shit that looks just like right. it. My shit be you know, my shit be on. Nah, shit be, my shit be busting. I'm about to start bringing it back. Huh? I'm about to be. The, I'm about to be the nigga known as having the best fake shit in the game. I don't think that's where that works. You, but that's you, you don't. Mean, you don't have the best fake shit. You don't have the best. I don't I'm think gonna that's. Start, I'm gonna start really be the the the, the middle of the mall nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you who's smart. I'm gonna tell you who the smartest nigga is. Snoop got a whole website that sells the fake real looking shit, and he might. You don't know if he got on real or fake shit. Like Snoop sell that well, shit. Well, Snoop is Snoop. Snoop, 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 Snoop will always be the exception saying, to every he, rule. He's the exception to every rule that's ever been, been made, to, yeah. bro. Like it doesn't matter. He can do whatever he wants. Snoop story, make all the independent shit. Snoop is Shaq, Shaq can wear the dumbest shoes ever, but who? Jewelry is a terrible investment. Especially for a rapper. Yeah, it is. For a rapper, because it you're is. wearing it, you got to risk getting robbed for it. Like, what is it doing for you outside of just looking good when you go outside? It's doing nothing for you. That's to get your bitches, though. That shit look good and get your bitches. So why not press <laughs> some shit that they don't know? Because this is the thing that I heard. And I heard I heard one of the Kardashians say this. They said they used to wear the fake shit back in the day because when people think you got money, they don't question it. Yeah, Chad Johnson did that already. That's yeah, Chad did it. Chad's whole yeah, MO is like, why? Well, he said, I'm cheap as hell. You know, so yep. it depends it's on the person, shit, man. It's, it's, it's a person, man. The fake, it's, the fake real movie. It's a, it's a lot of things with real jewelry. They still lame. So right. It don't even matter. We're not going to. We, like, we talked about earlier, but I ain't going to. 
I ain't gonna touch on that man. We already talked about him earlier today. I ain't gonna, you know, we, we talked about Drake earlier. Anyway, B Lil, wanna finish it off? Man? Let's go ahead. Yes, sir, man. This has been another episode of Roast. This, last but not least, how we do every week, man. We let the people know what we got going on for the upcoming week where you can catch us live and in the flesh, starting with my dog, Ronnie. Let the people know, man. Ronnie. Well, uh, this week I'm gonna be. I got a show to hear more. Ty Davis, Tyler Chronicles. We performed for like the Sigma Gamma Rose. Uh, they they got an anniversary big big event. Uh, Saturday, uh, Atlanta. So I'll be they there. Call, Tyler, uh, that shit call. That shit call. Yeah, y'all check us out. And then uh, we also every Friday uh, be doing the live taping on this Pat show. Um, that that's been going well. So yeah, man. Just and more than culture every every um Thursday, man. Y'all keep tapping in. Keep going to official blessed AF. Keep checking it out. It's just the new, the new uh, summertime edition, man. You know, so sometimes it's, the, the logo don't be for everybody looking at you. It's for yourself. You can look down and know you blessed as fuck. So I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for tapping in. All the caffeine dwellers. Appreciate y'all. Yes, P Valley is back, by the way. Y'all got to start watching P Valley again. Y'all haven't watched P Valley. It's back. Yeah, it is. It's back. Uh, no more. You be all into the you be all into the girls that did Clifford show up. Like, God yeah, damn. Uncle Cliff back in the building. <laughs> Crazy ass. <laughs> They're crazy. Anyway, go ahead. You be looking at all this, all this, all this yeah, thickness. And then this y'all can come check up. me out every morning on my YouTube and my Facebook Live at the Morning Cup of Dough Morning Show. Starts at 6 to 8 a.m. every morning, Pacific Standard Time. And, uh, yeah, check me on the next episode of Roast Me. I believe tomorrow drops. Yes, sir. Yeah. Below. Below. Go ahead and mute yourself for me. My bad. Hey, man, yeah. listen. Tomorrow, roast me. Season five. What is this? Five, right? Or four? Yeah, we're on season, season five, episode six, I believe. Now. We're on episode six. Yeah. Hey, listen, I've done so many times. I've been roasted on the goddamn show. Now, make sure you go over there and log on Caffeine and support us over there, man. Uh, make sure you check out the podcast. YouTube.com backslash Billy Surreals. And check me out there. There you go. b Lou. Oh, last but not least, this y'all boy, y'all boy, y'all boy. Brandon Lewis, man, catch me on the new episode of Roast Me as well. I'm back in the motherfucking classroom. This is what y'all want from me. Y'all nigga think that I'm just a goddamn fuck ass host, but nigga, I can goddamn roast. You yeah, feel me? I ain't no fuck ass host. Hey, I'm you're a producer too, bro. You're a good, you're a good producer too, bro. Yeah, thank you, bro. Hey, hey, right now, I really appreciate that. Hey, I'm also uh in Chicago, Sean Burns to be exact. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with my big brother Epion. So if you in the Chicago area or Illinois area, Come out, pull up on me in the Schomburg Improv. I got five shows, two Friday, two Saturday, and yeah. one Monday. And I'm on the first thing, smoking out Monday. So pull yeah. up on me. Uh, J.B. Lewis, hold on. You didn't oh, ask me anything. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got you you want to ask me one question before, I, before we go? Yeah. Hey, Billy. Hey, Billy. Hey, Billy. Hey, hey, hey Billy. Hey, Billy. What, 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 what kind of pup is double? His name is, Ant- his name is Antoine. That's Antoine. Antoine, I don't know why you keep saying that. I know you're a teeth are fucked. Are your ears fucked too? <laughs> I, I, Billy, shut up, nigga. Hey, Billy, what kind of, <laughs> hey, what kind of, hey, what kind of puppies don't gonna have? Chow, chow. <laughs> 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 hey, this is another episode of Rose Liz. I'm Brandon Lewis. That's Dope Boy. Anthony Double Belcher. That's Ronnie Jordan. That is Billy Sorrells. And Antoine, you too fast. Always. Antoine. I've never seen my nigga Dean. And we are out. The Dean. Catch y'all later, y'all. This wonderful podcast, please stay tuned for Roast Me episode 6 that will be tomorrow. I will post that as well. So please put your notifications on and be ready. Who do you think is going to be presented tomorrow? I think I have a sneaky feeling that Ontario will make a surprise guest tomorrow. I think he will show up, in my opinion. Be on the lookout, but um, this is your boy. Until next time, I am out of here.